Hello everyone, my name is Vitaly and today I would like to present MultiConfig Web, an application based on MultiConfig program which allows you to convert chemical structures into config format for LaTeX documents. There are two ways how you can generate config format. First one is to search for a compound by name. Let's try aspirin and then click convert. The second option is to draw a custom molecule using the sketcher. Click get mole and convert. On the right side there are several options which allow you to modify the appearance of the structure. Let's select aromatic and show methyl options and click apply. If you prefer a more compact representation just select Compact View and apply. If you're satisfied with the outcome, just copy and paste it into your document. Another quite useful feature is the possibility to modify the structure right inside the text area. First, let's perform all modifications. And then press Ctrl Enter. All changes will be displayed in the PDF viewer. If you want to go back to the initial state of the molecule, just click the reset button. As you see, MultiConfig Web provides a user-friendly interface for generating config format for a single molecule. But wouldn't be more practical to have similar functionality, not just for a single molecule, but for a basic organic reaction. That's why I created a reaction app. And let me demonstrate how it works. For the sake of simplicity and not spending too much time on drawing real organic reactions, I'm going to randomly select the structures from the sketcher. Let's assume that we have the following reaction. And now click Convert. If you want to add reaction conditions, click on the text button. Input fields correspond to the conditions below and above the arrow. So let's type CH3, C6, H5 and 100 degrees C. You may notice that the conditions are displayed as a plain text, which is not a valid LaTeX format. To fix that issue, I created text to LaTeX converter, which dynamically converts plain text into LaTeX format. Let's retype the conditions. Erase the old one. Copy and paste. For degrees Celsius, you need to select this checkbox. If you have a multi step reaction, you can just continue drawing the next step. And now don't forget to update the conditions by clicking on the text button. Let's add water in 24 hours. You can easily add a byproduct as well. Please keep in mind that the position of the plus sign in your case can be different. It can be higher or lower, it all depends on your reaction. So fine tuning of that position should be done on your computer. You can also modify the reaction directly inside the text area. Let's perform modification and now press Ctrl Enter. You can also modify the appearance of the reaction by selecting the options located below the text area. If you're satisfied with the outcome, just copy and paste it into your document. 
So if you find this application useful and would like to support this project, feel free to make donations via PayPal. Thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.